Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Recently a user asked about this particular test code fragment. It looks weird, right? Uh, we're finding the parent element, checking if it's visible, it is visible, then we're finding using sci-find the child element, and then we say, well, the text should be empty. When we look at what the command log shows, we can see the parent, we can highlight the parent when we hover. When we find the child element, and it did not really find any child elements, because there is no child element, right? We only have a parent element. But then it says, okay, well, this non-existing child element still has empty text. So what's going on here? Why doesn't this fail? Is this even uh, a meaningful test? Or is this a bug in Cypress? So let me start by saying that every querying command in Cypress, like scigets, scifinds, scicontains, has a built-in existence assertion. So if we remove everything and we just write scigets and then selector, this is the same as saying should exist. Okay, because this is the most common positive test case, right? You're opening a page, you're trying to find an element, well, you assume you have an element, right? If, for example, we misspell the selector, then it retries finding the element, maybe the page adds it dynamically and then fails. And even if I remove should exist, it does exactly the same thing. So the existing assertion is built in. Sometimes you need to disable it. Our most common case is if you're trying, for example, to click on a button. So for example, let's get the parent and it might be there, it might not be. And then you might be saying, okay, um, I'll pass this jQuery object yielded by the site get into site then. So if an element exists, if there are actual DOM elements inside the jQuery, remember, if jQuery is empty, the object still exists, but there is no elements of so the length will be zero. So if there are elements, then maybe you can uh, wrap, let's say, um, the element, and maybe you click. I imagine it's a button, okay? So even if you misspell it, right, so how do you disable the built-in assertion? Because this first command tries to assert that it exists. Well, you can, uh, well, first of all, we know it doesn't exist, so we can add should not exist, and we'll override the existing assertion, but then there is nothing. Um, we can say if L and just to be safe, right? Well, but sometimes you don't know, right? And it's an enter pattern, it's conditional testing. But basically what you can do, if you don't know if the element should be there or not, you can disable the built-in element existence assertion by, you know, attaching a should callback. By default, you get this argument and here you can validate an element and write your own logic but if you don't do anything then it will disable the built-in existing assertion and will just give you the element or an empty jquery object in the next callback okay so that's great what about our original test so let me paste the original code so we grab the element has built-in existing assertion and we overrode it and we said not just it should exist, it should be visible. Then we found the child element. Okay. And now we have overridden the built-in existence assertion by providing a should callback. So here we don't know if element is there or not. Even if jQuery is empty, its text will return an empty string. If you're not sure, just print it. Okay. So let's open the DevTools console, empty jQuery object. Okay, and we can print the text. Okay, so empty jQuery object and an empty string. Okay, so majority of cases, if you are not sure if element should be there or not, you can do the following. You can say if element and element, let's say length, then confirm that it has some sort of length. So let's, for example, uh, remove find. Inside the parent, we have hello. So we'll say should equal hello. Okay. 
And if we ask for non-existent element, well, it didn't find anything, so it skipped if branch in this case. Again, this is conditional testing. A better test would know exactly if an element is there or not, and it will just confirm it. Find this example and lots more at magliabachmodel.com Cypress examples site. I'll put a link in the description of this video.